Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll teach you all the kitchen vocabulary you need to know. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. This is the faucet. Faucet. And I can choose hot or cold water from the faucet. This is the sink. Sink. The sink is the container for water in the kitchen. In the sink, there is the drain. The drain. The drain carries away the water and liquids we pour here. But if you pour oily food or fats, it'll easily get clogged. To clog is a verb and it means to become blocked. So if your drain becomes clogged, you need a plunger. A plunger is what you see in the picture. You need a plunger to unclog the drain. When I'm washing the dishes, I use dish soap. Dish soap. We have to pump it to use it. This dish soap is unscented. Unscented which means it has no smell, no smell. I also wear gloves to wash the dishes because I'm allergic to a lot of chemicals. They're too harsh for my skin. Harsh means too strong. This is the dish rack, dish rack. And I leave the dishes here for them to dry. It's so useful, really. This is a countertop, countertop. This is a marble countertop. Marble is the name of this stone here. On the countertop, we can find my kitchen set, where there are my kitchen utensils. We say kitchen utensils to refer to any handheld tools in the kitchen. These are kitchen utensils. These are tongs, tongs. I love my heart-shaped tongs. They're so cute, right? We use tongs to pick hot food or food in general. This is a ladle, ladle, a ladle is a big spoon used for serving soup. This is a spatula, spatula. We use spatulas to lift food out of the pan. For example, if you're frying an egg, you need a spatula to flip the egg. This is a tool that I really need in my life. This is a whisk whisk. A whisk is used to beat eggs or whip cream. If you're gonna make a cake, you'll have to use a whisk to mix the ingredients. You can notice that I focus on pronunciation in this lesson because that's my favorite skill. However, to maintain my skills, I need to practice daily. Personally, I use Lingoda to practice because I love the structure of the group in private lessons. The classes have a maximum of five people, so the teacher gets me speaking right from the start. And the groups are small, so I have a lot of opportunity to practice. I love Lingoda because the lessons are very affordable and they provide lessons 24 7, meaning 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I can adapt to the lessons according to my schedule. And it's pretty easy to filter and book a class at Lingoda. I'm so excited to show you guys. The first thing I do is click on my course at the top of the page and the course will be laid out for you chapter by chapter. 
to book a lesson, I just have to click on the lesson and you'll see the book button. I'm going to take the writing a public review online class. Once I click, I can see all the upcoming classes for this lesson and I can filter them by dates and times. Check out Lingoda for yourself with their seven day free trial. You can take three small group classes or one private lesson completely for free. Click on the link below and use my code English by Giovanna to receive 20% off in your first month. This, this is a kitchen scale. Many people weigh their food to control their dietary intake. Dietary intake. Do you control it? This thing here is called oil dispenser. Oil dispenser. You can also call it a cruet. Cruet, but it's not so common. I prefer just saying oil dispenser. We usually use an oil dispenser to drizzle oil into the pan. To drizzle is a verb and it means to pour in a thin stream, like in small droplets. So we usually say to drizzle the oil rather than pour the oil. And this is a vinegar dispenser. That is a thermal coffee dispenser. We use it to keep the coffee hot. This is a shelf. Shelf. And here, there is my sugar canister. Sugar canister. I know that the name is weird, but we call these things here canisters. Canisters. So I have the coffee canister, the tea canister, and the sugar canister. And here is my cup. It says, one amazing Gigi. Cute, isn't it? It's so lovely. Now let's move on to this part of the kitchen. These are called counter stools counter stools. Counter because this part of the kitchen is called the counter, the countertop. So we have the counter stools. This is the fridge. This is the fridge handle for opening the fridge. We can open with the handle, all right? And this is the water dispenser, water dispenser to get water, to dispense water. And this is a magnet, magnet. Some people love collecting magnets. Do you like it? This part of the fridge, this part of the fridge is called freezer, freezer. It's where we keep cold meat, and other cold stuff. This is an ice tray. I keep my ice tray in the freezer. We use an ice tray to make ice cubes. Ice cubes. Now let's move on to this part of the kitchen. This is the microwave. Microwave. In my opinion, it is a must-have because we can cook and heat food easily. Really, it makes our lives easier. This is an oven. I usually use it to bake cakes or pizza. And this is the stove. Stove. On the stove, we have the grates. Grates. This is the burner, burner, and these are the knobs, knobs. We have the kettle, kettle, and the pan, 
the pan. That was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned many new vocabulary. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and share. See you!